Almost ready. What? This is hand-stitched embroidery from a tribe in Guatemala. So they not fucking in Guatemala? <laughs> Hey everyone, and thanks for joining us on another movie lingo discussion. I'm Iris. I'm Kumar. I'm Ron. And today we're going to be talking about Girls Trip. Ron, would you like to give us a brief synopsis <laughs> on the movie? Oh man, just throw that at me. Okay, it's, you have four <laughs> girls, listen, four girls who grew up, went to college together, um, and in those four to five years they went to college, they don't really exactly say when, but... They grow apart, and for five years, they're not really talking. We all have friends that we kind of disconnect from. They're trying to get back together and kind of have one last hurrah. Um, so this takes place in Louisiana. Um, I don't want to say it's Mardi Gras, but it's always a party there. Um, yeah, so that's it, really. Just getting together. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so first, let's start out on how we felt about the movie. Kumar, would you like to start us off? As always, I didn't see a goddamn trailer. I was just with Michael one day. He's like, oh, let's go see a movie. I didn't know what the fuck we were seeing. Walked in the theater. I thought I was being obnoxious by laughing so hard. But that shit was fucking funny. Ron? <laughs> you just go, you go to me like it's weather or something. Like <laughs> you think we're doing fucking news forecast. Okay, listen. The movie was funny. The movie's rated R. If you get a chance to see it, the movie's rated R. Um, there are no punches held back in this one. It's similar to, um, there was a Bridesmaid movie that came out where someone I think was nominated for a nice award. There was one that just recently came out, um, but they were in the club or something. I can't remember what it is, but there was a movie that just recently came out. Anybody remember what it is? You just said in the club. What are we? It was uh, with Will Ferrell in it or something, or maybe he was supposed to be in it, but he kicked Mariah Carey out. Something like that. Whatever. The House, that's what it was. Thanks for the random voice in the background. The House, <laughs> it came out, it didn't do well in the box office. This did a great job in the box office. I like this movie. It was funny. Um, there wasn't a lot of times where I thought they were overdoing it. And it's nice to see, you know, sisters of color, you know, going out there and getting everybody laughing. It was very diverse. I enjoyed it. Oh, yeah, I have to agree. The movie had me laughing from, like, beginning to end. Um, I'd have to say, like... Uh, this is my first movie that I've seen that is played with an all black cast that the movie is so raunchy. I, I, I've I never seen a movie like that where it's so raunchy. I mean, you see all types of crazy stuff. Penises. Grape, grapefruit. Oh, oh. Grapefruit. Huh. <laughs> How did you feel about the grapefruit? Because you had said before at one point that you would demonstrate for us no, no, the no. grapefruit. Or you I said we should do... I said that I believe Ron should do it. No, I guarantee that's just not going to happen. With the banana no, and the grapefruit. No, Just no, so you have a brief no, understanding of what you. we're talking I don't care about. How many likes, I don't care how many repos, that's not going to happen. Jada Pinkett's character in the movie, um, she's a divorcee, right? Vegan. And um, <laughs> she... <laughs> vegan. Well, she ain't had meat in a really long time. She needs some fucking meat. Anyways... So she meets a guy while they're in Louisiana, and the thing is, is that he's got a really, really big piece of meat. So because she don't know how to handle all that, her friend tries to show her how to grapefruit a man, which basically she takes a banana, put, cuts a hole in a grapefruit, rubs the grapefruit mm -hmm. around the yeah. banana, and I will not be demonstrating that. But you're but doing she, well so far. Yeah. Just touch the top of the banana. Were there any techniques involved? And gags the hell out of herself while she's rubbing the grapefruit up and down yeah. the shaft of the banana. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So basically, Jada decides, okay, when I get together with this man, we're going to do this. She needs two grapefruits for that man. I'm not saying it to you. Just, just so, let her take it. Um, but what ends up happening is that she gets the grapefruit, of course, as we all know, are acidic. So she gets it into his pee hole. That was and that crazy. shit hurt me. That shit yes. hurt me. There's a lot of, moments, there's a lot of moments in this movie where they hurt your manhood. <laughs> yeah, real. But that uh, shit was so whoo. funny. And it's crazy because you see him butt ass naked. Oh, and girls, he is so fine. Just so just running through the running through their room, butt ass naked, 
two grapefruits on his thing, and then he's still holding like a big old chunk of his thing that's still. Let me tell you, that was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. Just getting a little too happy. Well, no comment there. That was ridiculous. I don't know. There's other parts in the movie that were were good as well. There was um the old man scene. Oh. Speaking of A lot of things. people like the old man scene. <laughs> that's Mar cringy. That a lot. A lot. Uh, it was cringy for guys. I didn't. I mean, it was funny, yeah, but it was funny, but I even it cringed. Was the oh, cringiest was so... motherfucking shit ever. Why was it cringy though? I want to see an old man's dick. What the fuck? But see, they gave it to you. You didn't even know. You didn't even want it. It's almost like they were party. No, 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 I don't want it. And they gave it to and you. Yes. It just there's Take a window. It. You know, if you've been to those hotels, like if you you've been to those like shady hotels where like somebody died. It was one of those hotels, and they couldn't get the blind closed fast enough. And so this old no, they didn't homeless care about dude. Blind. No, but they didn't. I they didn't know. They tried to. They were like, the, trying to. Before they didn't know about giving a fuck about the blind. It's when he popped out with his junk out and he's shit. Butt naked. And they're like, oh shit, we gotta yeah. put him on. And the then there was one friend that was like, oh, whoa, oh, oh, oh. And they laughed. They had a good laugh about it. Oh my god! And you saw everything. Like they really showed his penis, and yeah. it was just. No fucks given. Okay, wait, wait, okay, wait, okay. Yes, yeah. he was naked, but they didn't show the. It was the whole package from top to bottom. So that means you guys stared at it. Then. I mean, it was like... <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a woman. I wanted to look and be like, okay. I, um, is, uh, I wasn't uh, fucking ready for that shit. It didn't just pop on the screen. Look, the screen is this big. That's what I'm saying. You can't, you can't you have to stare look at here. It. That means you looked. The screen... What? I was like, whatever. The screen I, you, is like... It doesn't Man, matter. Whatever. Okay, look, look, look. It doesn't matter. You when you see some shit like that, you freeze like a headlight and like, like you guys just like you guys just and, and so you like, watch it too, right? I well, I didn't look at it. I yeah. knew exactly what they're doing. There's no reason for me to look down at it. He's a damn liar. I didn't. Anyway, anyways, I'm just saying. Anyways, other than of course the more raunchy, you know, penis situation what about throughout the, the movie. Because um, that was a big part of it. They wanted to. The Trouble main character Paris. was married. Yeah, that was um, the serious point of the movie. Basically, it's like Oprah movie. and your favorite football player. Um, but there, it's not perfect. He's cheating. Um, it wasn't really a plot twist because you kind of saw it coming. She knew about it. You saw that coming as well. At least I did. Um, did you care that the marriage wasn't perfect? That there was a, almost a stereotypical um, grass isn't green on other sides. Another skinny guy cheats because apparently <laughs> big guys don't cheat. So, anyways, we're not gonna go there because that saying, was a serious debate from earlier. There's, no, there's numbers. There's numbers saying uh, big dudes don't cheat as often as skinny. Dudes. My whole situation is that I didn't appreciate with her being a strong black woman as she portrayed herself to be in a fake bullshit marriage. You don't think there's people like that that do that? Oh Without yeah, I know there's plenty of women. It doesn't matter whether you're mm. black, white, Asian, Hispanic. There are plenty of women who fake it for the rest because they want to make it seem like their lives are perfect. And it's not it's not true. People will respect you more mm -hmm. for being honest. Okay. To come out and say, oh, yeah, I love my husband, but he a piece of shit. Mm -hmm. But I love him. Whoa. Okay, so you're Whoa. fine You're fine with the, the marriage thing. What about you, Kamar? Anything else like that was deep out of it, other than the fun and games that you took from it? I mean, it didn't. It wasn't really that deep from the way they portrayed. It. They portrayed it as like, you know, who really gives a shit? The marriage is just because of um, like a of business fucking, arrangement. Yeah, it was all just business for okay, money. But, but at the end, where she sits there and she says, "Hey, look, it's over. The marriage is done," and she's like, "I'm a single woman who's gonna do my own thing." Do you think that could lead into a sequel? Because she was like, oh, we got the Foxy posse back together again. Can, do you see? Yeah, because, I mean, remember, at the end, she ends up doing a partnership with Queen Latifah's character. Mm -hmm. So I feel that those two characters have a possibility of doing a sequel of, you know, okay, this is where, where we are now um, with them being involved with that Bethany woman. Okay. Bethany. Bethany was fun, though. Um, yeah, she was. Liz was funner, though. Okay, so with that, as we get ready for the, the, the rating part, mm -hmm. what did you think about the new upcomer star? Which really isn't new. She's done other stuff. Mm -hmm. But for the majority of people, for this movie to do $27 million already, what did you think about the girl who played? I think her name was Dina. I, I actually really enjoyed her character. She was so real. She was. Without she, crossing the line. She wasn't yeah. like Ratchet. Like, she was... 
Oh no, she was ratchet. Don't yeah. even lie. She was ratchet as hell, and that's what I loved about her. She is the type of woman that every woman has inside of them, I but they not. just control it a little bit better than she can. Um, every woman has this inside of her. Uh-huh. Yes, I really believe that because best believe if God forbid my best friends or someone I see as my sister mm-hmm. tells me. Oh, my husband is fucking this female. There she oh. is right there. And there he is right yeah, there. Yeah, she didn't hesitate. She oh, didn't hesitate. Oh, I would Regulator. Whipped was, his yeah. ass right there. Bitch, she would have ate a piece of that bottle that she had in her hand. She was real as fuck. I think yeah, she, she just... Was, yeah. She just loves. Uh, she was. Know, she was seriously loyal. Like she didn't bullshit nobody. She's like, there was no if I'm going to fight you, I'm going to fight you. But she was also That's hilarious. It. She was also oh, she funny. Was. She, was. she was. I believe there was a lot of times in the movie where she carried the scene for the simple fact that she was the the comic relief. For crying out loud, Dina, we only gonna be there for three days. Well, three days then. You know what? I need you to use your lady mouth. I need you to use your lady mouth. <laughs> yes. Um, you also had the scene about the the peeing. What do you guys think about the peeing scene? Oh, where there's zip lining across yeah. between two buildings. Okay. So uh, basically, they're drunk as hell, mm-hmm. and Jada Pinkett Smith gets stuck in the middle of the zip line, mm-hmm. and she's like complaining before she even got in it. You guys, I have to pee. I have to pee. Well, they're like, "Oh, well, just go across. The bathroom is empty on the other side." She gets stuck right in the middle, in the middle in the and gives everybody a serious golden shower. R. Kelly, mm. yes, similar to what's in his cup. But yep. it gets, uh, but it was a little over the top because me being a female i know how badly i be having to pee even after i've been drunk and my shit does not that come out like fun, that that was ridiculous it was like when you put your thumb on the water hose and it, and it starts to shoot out really fast and it's like shh, all over the damn place on the water like hose. you're doing like pressure washing the sidewalk or some shit pressure washing the sidewalk uh, well, she is sitting on something. Okay. No, <laughs> yeah, but then it I still doesn't happen because all the then... people at the bottom were like, "Oh, we getting peed on." They ran, then they came back to they get peed back. on again. Yeah, that was the funny part. What was her name? The second lady, uh, Dina? Dina. Dina. Yeah. No, but she even was like, it's so, okay, sus, I'm with you. She did. But even so, my first time and material that. being there when you pee out. The material that's there absorbs most of it, and most of it'll trickle down your legs. Okay, but I would rather you talk about grapefruit than other than that. Yeah, like you giving us the breakdown of how pee works. I mean, I'm I don't, just I don't saying. Think I'm like, like to know. I'm just saying. Okay, so it, it doesn't work like y'all's thing does. Okay. Clearly. Okay, so let's rate this. Okay. <laughs> what are you guys rating this? Uh, for a comedy, from start to finish, I have to give it at least a nine. Damn. Because it, for me, it was that good. I love comedy movies. That's my cup of tea. So I'm at it. I'm just saying. A nine out of ten. Yeah, and one of the many takes I did for the movie Lingo Minute, I did say that this is one of the better comedies I've seen in quite a while. So I'm also giving it a nine. It had me laughing from start to finish. It was crazy. Again, you got to support, man. You don't have a lot of movies out there that have a nice, diverse cast. The music was great. You had Puff Daddy up there and New Edition and... It was it was nice to look at. The cast was nice, um, so I'm gonna give it a nine. I'm not, I'm not shocked at all that we're gonna nine this. Any calculations, yeah. Mike? <laughs> I think Mike's gonna say we're at a nine. So uh, it's a I don't know. It's a movie lingo nine. It's an official nine. A nine out of ten. Anyways, uh, thanks again, guys, for joining us on another movie lingo discussion. I'm wait, Iris. Wait, 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 wait. You said a mother. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you said a mother. I see. I didn't even notice. Yeah, she did. You should just let Thank it go. Thank you for joining us. But that's a mother. Let it go. Movie lingo. Yes, mother. you did. I'm <laughs> trying to stop myself from doing that. You can I try it again. Motherfucking you said you like comedy. Movie so lingo discussion. Anyways, alrighty, guys. Thanks for joining us on another movie lingo discussion. I'm your girl Iris. I'm your boy Kumar. <laughs> I'm just Ron. <laughs> Why are you trying so hard? Yeah. Move your arm. That's not my arm. Ooh, that's that Shaka Zulu right there. That's my girl.